Hi. Today I'm going to show you these beautiful succulent creepers. Uh, they are very good with floral arrangements. Uh, these are fillers and one more thing about the best part of it is there is no need for any cutters to be used. Okay. So this is also like a quick fix uh, filler flowers. This is also a quick fix foliage. So and they look very good. They, these are hanging trails. So you can hang it there, hang it around like that, bend it like that and keep it down. So I'm going to quickly show you how to make this and then I will show you the coloring part of what are the variations you can give for this. Okay, so let's start it now. For this I have taken 28 wire, 26 or 28 is fine. Okay, I've just cut into small, small pieces. Okay, maybe f five or six from one single wire. I'm taking three, four, five, and six. Okay, so six is coming in one. So, like that, you cut into very small, fine ones. And I have colored a base green. To my dough okay just you can do a leaf green very little leaf green don't do very hard don't make it too dark i have made a leaf green here see and just conditioning the paste okay now what i'm going to do now is take a very tiny ball okay very tiny when you make this small it looks more nicer you can make little bit bigger also i'll show you the variations of that too okay now we're going to take the tiny ones okay so what i'm going to do here is keep it here onto your palm make a small teardrop quickly okay make a small teardrop quickly like this then take your wire this is the glue is already kind of wet so i don't want to add glue to it uh, the dough is already wet so i don't want to add any glue to it so to the wire so i'm just poking it directly here okay till the edge then what i do is i press as much as possible okay when i press it like that see this is the shape i get okay now what you do is just hold both the sides keep pressing until it gets enlarged okay just both the sides keep pressing quickly like this you get a base shape okay see you get a base shape now what i do is i keep it here okay use my ball tool just quickly outside to the edges of the petal i am just balling it just the edges of the petal so you get this kind of a shape okay now what i do is i just hold it from the back and just pinch a bit and then squeeze this and just give this a bend so as if it looks like a thick uh, fluid is stuck inside like how the succulents used to be so like that okay so like this see very quick we have made so when you make so many of this like uh, see just 10 or 12 of this will fit in see this see this is a bit smaller one this is a bit bigger one like that okay so you can make a lot of them and keep it and so they look very beautiful it flows from the cake also it from the arrangement also when you add it an arrangement it flows down it, it gives you a nice look a bushy look okay now i'll show you how to color this Okay, now for coloring like these petals, sorry, these leaves. So I have here fern green and I have a bit of blue. Okay, so I'm going to show you first. I'm going to take this fern green. Okay, just nicely give the color to it. Make sure everywhere it has been spread. Okay, you could see the green. Now I'm going to take the blue. A very light tinge on the green. I'm going to give the blue. Okay. 
very light tinge it's going to be so you see the color now okay this is the way i'll do it and i'm after fixing up also i give a bit of color that you can even do it now or later i prefer to have it after fixing up the leaves to do the edges alone i just give a bit of uh, magenta or plum to the edges so it looks more natural okay so this is what i'm showing you I'm going to show you once again how i color it fern green nice dab of good dab of fern green at last to it and then just the top just brush it as lightly as possible with blue ocean blue you can do. don't go very dark blue this is the ocean blue what i'm using yeah like this okay the coloring is down done now i'm going to show you how i'm going to join them yeah now for joining what i have done here is i've taken two 26 wires and join it together and taped it here and then i have cut the tape into half and then i have my succulent leaves so first what i'm going to take is i'll take the smallest one from here okay first i'm going to keep it here don't keep very near to it give some space and then you just keep the thing what you need to do is hold tight one side then drag your floral tape so the gum releases the glue gets released nicely and then quickly tape it down until the wire is visible okay okay this is one way so the next the smaller one you can take this just keep it as near as possible i am bending this a little bit keep this as near as possible and then quickly bend it see this will come like this and this because these are very tiny ones so it will be like this okay hold it tight once again stretch it nicely cover it up until your wire is visible see give a bit of space more space so in that way it looks nice don't cluster it too much so near okay so i am the next thing i what i'm going to do is i'm going to have this here okay here so as much as make sure the wire is not visible you will you could do like this also like this in the sides and then just cover it up until your wire goes away and this one the next one when you take just make sure you keep it as near as possible like this when you add 3 4 of them they look really elegant and they are very filling as i told you no cutters is been used in this so it's more easy to work on these this pull it up like that yes this as near as possible make sure the wire is not visible how much ever you can cover try to cover the wires so they look more realistic i can keep both of it and do it also but what happens is it tends to rotate so i don't want to loosen it up so one by one i'm doing it if you're comfortable with doing it with two it's fine you can this 
in home taping. Just few of them fills in your whole stem. Just join them first, then you can even adjust also if it is not perfectly shaped in one side, it doesn't matter. Just first join them. Now we could see how they are. Now another thing what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how I color my edges so they look more realistic. Just taking some maroon color, very little maroon. Okay, now just very little, just the borders. Okay, just the borders. Just only the borders like that. This gives them more depth and more realistic look. See in the edges here. So when you give like that, they look more realistic. So this is what is the finished product. So this is how you'll get it. See this. The edges I have colored with maroon. So this is how a little bit this is a bit bigger. The petals are this is a bit smaller. So like this you can arrange according to your needs. You can arrange do the arrangement for your flowers or on your cake. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.